In parallel with most borders opening up across the world following more than two years of prolonged crisis, the airline industry is starting to recover in earnest. As such, operators are beginning to look far off into the future again, dreaming of a world beyond pandemic restrictions and hopefully war. Even those soon to leave their roles with airlines are busy setting up a trajectory that'll see their airlines prosper and evolve for years to come. One of the Airbus A380's biggest fans, Sir Tim Clark, is soon to step down as the president of Emirates. As he prepares for his departure, the industry veteran says that the decline of the Super Jumbo will be the biggest concern for the airline moving into the 2030s. Let's take a closer look at this statement. The industry veteran suggests that the discontinuation of the double-decker, which constitutes a large part of the Emirates fleet, will cause a capacity crunch at more congested airports in the coming decade. Speaking at the Kappa Airline Leaders Summit in Manchester on Thursday, April 7th, Sir Tim said, My biggest single problem will be the decline of the A380, because of the ability to meet the hub requirements in the 2030s when you've only got a limited number of slots at the primary hubs such as Sydney, Heathrow, Hong Kong and New York, etc. Without mentioning names or models, such as the delays of Boeing's 777X program, he stated that the biggest problem was getting airplanes delivered at the pace Emirates requires. As a result, Sir Tim also foresees necessary spending of about $1.5 billion on a retrofit program for the airline's current fleet in order to, quote, raise the product standards, expand the network, and take us well beyond where we were prior to 2019. Not having enough capacity or planes is perhaps a luxury headache compared to the unprecedented crisis of the last two years. The Emirates president, who has held the position for nearly 20 years, is optimistic about the airline's trajectory and the industry's recovery. This includes the premium segment, which Sir Tim said had been under more significant pressure than the carrier's economy cabin over the past four to five months. Clark was also quoted as saying, The global economy will emerge from this trauma and will get over it. I am a great believer in the fact that corporate markets will return. The second UAE flag carrier, Abu Dhabi-based Etihad Airways, has seen a similar pattern emerge. Speaking at the same conference panel, Etihad CEO Tony Douglas said that the airline's premium cabins had seen greater pressure over the past nine months than before the pandemic. Furthermore, load factors for March 2022 were higher than those of March 2019, contributing to the first profitable Q1 in the history of Etihad. Do you agree with Sir Tim Clark? Will the decline of the Airbus A380 lead to a capacity and slot shortage at the world's busiest airports? Leave a comment below and join the conversation. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.